Tell me, O oh muse, of the many heroes from many places who wandered the many ways of the sacked sacred city of Ardenvall. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the 125th expedition of the Ardenvall Garris campaign. It is the 30th of Garakios. It is Mitra's Day, my dudes. Who do we have playing today? Uh, hello, I'm Lewis. I'm uh, once again reprising the role of Olympiodorus, uh, the, the 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 muscle wizard. Uh, but he's not bringing any anyone with him today. He's he's flying solo, apart from the rest of the party. Hi, I'm Adam. I am playing Lepperlopper, the slightly dinged up level five bard, uh, and he's here to get rich. I'm Lauren. I'm back as Battle Sister Julia, seventh level war priestess of Ardenia. Um, I'm Meg. I'm playing Crow Feeder, level. I, I think he's level three fighter goblin, uh, who's bringing Gunk Boiler. I want to say level two bard. I'm Paul. I'm uh, back with your backstabbing best friend Brutus, uh, level one Spathari thief. I'm Steve. I'm playing Bjorn, the level four Whiskin fighter. Um, and correction, in case it matters for Eric, Gunk Boiler is level three. Beautiful. It does. The entire campaign hinges on this. <laughs> okay. Uh, with that all out of the way, where what are we doing? Where are we going? We're all in Gosswick, I presume, or at least the Troll Courts. No, no, Goblins. Goblin, Goblin Town. I'm, I'm in Goblin Town. Town. Oh. You'll have to take the lift and meet us. Yeah, happy to do that. Oh. Is that, oh. is that oh. hand waveable time? Yeah, spend, yeah. Now, now it is. Just spend your money. I, I just made the encounter checks. You're good. What's the, what's the gold on that? I think it's uh, tree, it's tree dollars and you're going to deal, deal with uh, one light source after getting up to the... Uh, the goblins. Okay. Um. Oh. Yeah. 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 You're good. Bjorn would like to have a little chat with the uh, goblin mystics about uh, about a pact. Yes. Wants to to invoke the berserker uh, side of his whiskin heritage and take a madness flavor to pack. Yes. You must. Kill you must kill a merchant who trades at the forum of set and then sell his heart at the forum. Oh, okay. That's complicated. That is yeah. what you Yeah. And give and all proceeds that you sell for must be given back to the to your patron. Okay. Congrats. <laughs> wow. Yeah, uh, change self. Maybe I don't know. This is a bonkers little quest. I love it. <laughs> yep. Um, love it. Hey, ooh, become immune to acid, cold, or poison. Ooh, acid. Uh, <laughs> I think poison. If dragon slaying is on the horizon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't want to be immune to a repeat of. Lepper Loppers tracing errors. <laughs> I did adventure with brands. You go, you go on your own next time. Okay. And so it was. Thus. Okay, I mean we're we're chilling in the goblin courts. Where what's the marching order? What's the what's the light situation? Where, where are we going from here? I think we're gonna go back to the scarab area to yeah. see if we can't kill a statue Ooh. and get some treasure. Mm -hmm. Scarabies. Yep. So 
cool. we'd be burning a torch to come up from Goblin Town through 9, 10, 11. Into mm-hmm. the scare room. For sure. Okay. Uh, the goblins don't harass you as you go through. Before we right. start out, does anyone need luck? Oh, yes. I spent mine and wasn't backing lots of work to re up. Okay. Yeah. Who has, and uh, who has light? Spoiler bowl. Yep. I'm sorry. Who has? I, I misjudged when you were done, Meg. I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. I was just going to say, I'll roll for luck. Cheers. These healing potions I have are D6 plus one, right? Mm-hmm. Just the basic ones you buy for 300. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. I should probably use one of the two I have. Does anyone except for Limbiodoros need luck? Okay. And everyone should have luck. Beautiful. Leper, leper, what's your hand situation? Can you hold a torch? Or is that... Are you hands full? I can hold a torch if you want me to. I don't have any on me, but... I can hold someone else's torches. Uh, Brutus will give you a torch. Okay, so it looks like we got at least one light source going out. We um, come out from the hole of the plinth. Um, instead of going into Gog's cave, you guys are going to all trek down um, that southwesterly direction. Uh, towards a scarab um, that's made of stone. Um, there are missing scarabs on the on its back. Uh, and additionally, there are uh, several dead goblins who have been gnawed to the bone. Uh, recently? These new? Yeah, relatively recently. Is there scarabs on the floor? Uh, remarkably, there's about seven on the floor, uh, that you can count, and there seems to be about seven missing. Did we exactly deal with seven missing. Last time, last time we were here. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just... The reconstituting. Yeah, mm-hmm. we just need to put them back in before they yeah. activate their, uh, kill people mode. All right. Uh, I don't have the roll initiative, but yeah, yeah. yeah. Brutus will take a turn to put two um, back in place. Before okay. we do much with this, we should be prepared for the fact that there might be a golem immediately on the other side of these doors. It might have walked up and just stopped when it lost sight of us. Yeah, that's fair. So, do we have like spells we're gonna do as prep for a fight or anything like that? Mm, I mean, I can cast uh, or try and cast magic circle against constructs, I guess. Um, but I need to be in place because that's gonna once it down, it's it's not movable. Um, and yeah, no. If we don't know it's there, then maybe we waste time. Brutus does need some help, though. Uh, three more people need to help in this turn. Or yeah, Leper Lopper is willing uh, to help. I just wanted to say, if you are going to do prep for immediate fight, now is the time. Like, yeah, yeah we was... need to hide for like sneak attack purposes or anything like that. We we had a couple of turns to do it, so if there's just seven to put in, then two of us doing two each can get them okay. all in. If other people want to prep anything, like let's say we take two turns putting the scarabs in place, so everyone else maybe just position yourselves where you want to be. Julia will help with scarabs. That's fine. Okay, 
as the last scarab is placed in the back of the larger scarab, for those who have not been here, yes, there's a massive stone scarab, or actually more like a like a rhino beetle uh, looking statue in front of a set of bronze doors and adorned on its back along like the sort of like swirls and patterns that you would see of like a standard, you know, kind of like beetle, but, you know, jazzed up with lapis lazuli instead of, you know, shiny chitin and stuff. Uh, there are these inlays of smaller scarabs made of gold that fit into its sort of, you know, design back and camouflage kind of back. And so what you've been doing is picking them up and putting them into the little fitted slots. Uh, and so as that's done, um, as the last one is, Sister Julia puts the last scarab in its back, the mouth of, or the maw of the uh, large golem art, uh, articulates open, and in the middle of its mouth uh, is a larger uh, scarab. It's about 10 inches in height. Uh, while the rest of them, like these small little scarabs, are like coin size. Uh, and curiously enough, on the bronze doors behind, on the leftmost door of the bronze door in the back, uh, there seems to be like an inset for something that would be very uh, bug-like, um, scarab-like. That's also about 10 inches. So the maw of the statue is opened. What do you do? And so... We're, and we're thinking there's a a big construct behind it? Uh, if there was when we ran away uh, two days ago. So it, it might have gone back down the stairs to its um, mm -hmm. you know, reset position, or it might still just be on the other side of this door. Yeah. So we should be gotcha. prepared. Um, so we're going to have Bjorn and Crowfeeder like, doing melee, take it. Yep. And then is everyone else going to be standing back with range stuff? Yeah. Bjorn, do you have a hand to put the thing in? Uh yes. I've a I, I'm wielding a two handed sword today, so Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Brutus will... will open the mandibles of the large stone scarab, scarab statue and like give uh, Bjorn the disc. Okay. Uh watch out it. for this thing, it's a bit alive. Yeah. All right. Pop it into the door. Ka chink Cool. Um, if you remember, you hear the loud ka chink of the doors, but they do not open automatically. Give them a pull. Cool. As soon as you just touch them, and with the intent of pulling on them, the doors then begin to open uh, themselves with, or with your very little effort on your end. Standing right behind these doors is a massive stone golem. Please roll initiative. <laughs> Good call, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Don't look to me. Brutus, the slow thief. Oh, come on. I hate being... Man. Oh, it's you. My name is always right before Eric's. <laughs> That's why. That's why people invoke the. I roll a d twenty six character in front of your name at the start of sessions. Well, I don't know. Apparently, it's that's okay. I've been tactically playing Lepper Lopper a lot because he has that yeah. minus two dexterity, so I'm yeah. always very late. Not today. But you are not when I nat twenty yet. Okay. I mean, theoretically, I, I use luck, and then I have a one fourth chance of of beating, but. No. Can I use my luck to go later in the initiative? Yes, you can. You can spend your luck now to go later. You, you're yes, bound to the second Yeah, there you go. There you go. All right, someone else gets to go. Wow. I think it's Steve. Um, I think it's worth it, honestly, because it's multiple mm -hmm. extra actions. That's a yeah, for interesting sure. use of luck. Cool. Yeah, okay. it's a d20 roll. Why not? Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna whack it um, as my whack. mighty deed. Try and um, uh, like disrupt one of its attacks. Okay. Mighty deed goes off. Have Twenty five hits. Um, what kind of weapon are you using? Uh, the dragon slaying sword, uh, which is plus two or plus four yeah. versus dragons. Okay. It scratches the stone. 
What's an app? Plus two, no good. Uh, oh god, I, I, really better. Well, wouldn't it not scratch if it didn't work? Uh, it should be twelve damage, right? With a mighty deed, or no? You added uh, a mighty yeah, deed. That, that's added. Yeah, that's no. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna go go big or go home. I'm gonna try and disintegrate it. Sick. Oh, luck, oh, luck, luck, you, luck, luck, luck. Yeah. Uh... Did Ollie ever fix his uh, little coin flipping issue? Whoa! Oh, no, God. God. <laughs> Fucking word! You? What is it? you? I blame Rollum. Lewis, uh, I swear to God. Right, okay. Well, oh, that's two okay, ones. Something is definitely fishy. Yeah, uh, D, was it D12? Uh, this is a level five miscast. You uh, should be feeling your first spell check every session. Congratulations, party. Uh, we're all about to die. Uh, seven. Uh, oh, um, let me pull up the rule book. Um, I've got it right here. So it doesn't have a yellow name yet. All of you have yellow names, right? Oh boy, it's a D12. Uh, yeah, what'd you get? Us? You know, let's Seven. not pre-fire the yellow names. Sorry, I was I was screen capping it for posterity <laughs> without looking it up. I'm sorry. Uh, here we go. Uh, mishaps, tier five, seven. Runaway Arcana Loop. Your spell targets a random creature you can see, even if it would not normally be possible. Each subsequent turn, you must pass a spell casting check for that spell, or you cast it on another random creature. Right. So cool. Um, in the room, we have the so party. Theoretically, you know, close your eyes. The whole party. Yeah, we have the party and the golem. So, so it's a d it's a d8 uh, on a one roll a d8 for me on a one it's the golem uh, otherwise I'll just go down the order player order list. Well, should we include yourself as a target? Because you can't see yeah, yourself. Like, I don't know. There's also yeah, 24 technically not yourself. Okay. So no, te <laughs> well, technically I wouldn't add yourself to it. So it's actually oh, yeah, be a d7. That's what does it say? Are the scarabs creatures. No. <laughs> 24 <laughs> scarabs. <laughs> Nope, they're in the they're Eric, in the, they're in the base. Doesn't it say though that even if it isn't a normally targetable creature, your spell targets it. Yeah, even if it would not be normally be possible. So like yourself counts. But it's the 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 I think before that though is it your spell targets a random creature you can see even if it would not be normally even if okay. it would not normally be yeah, possible. No, I so I I think the it's a C then a comma. So uh, I think you can't. You aren't really seeing yourself when you're casting the spell that way. I don't know. What's the spirit of it? Should we should we add them or not? Group six. I buy your logic. Uh, six. So that's one, two, three, four, Fuck. five. It's Brutus. Oh, boy! I counted it too. <laughs> I was like, shit. That's me. Uh Brutus is dead. Yeah. Uh, okay. wait. Um. Each subsequent turn, you must pass a spell casting check for that spell, or you cast it on another random creature. Uh, on a success, mm -hmm. it ends. Mm -hmm. Sorry, that Paul. Means that Paul, there is no next round. Yeah. Well, there's disintegrate. So you're gone. You're you got Thanos snapped. There's yeah. no there's no death saves for you, buddy. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Like, what level are you? He's one. One. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to do that. It's, it's, it's an okay. extra small pile of dust. You <sighs> killed the intern on his first day of work. I mean, that's the most Bulgarian free company thing there oh. is. <laughs> okay. All right. well, that's my turn over. <laughs> All right. So I have one of two choices. I can either try to cast darkness on Ollie to end this off of a scroll, or I can try to just give him luck. Can all we just run away luck. so he can't see us? Is that's a very good point? Uh, We're gonna leave just all run the fuck one away one versus. Uh... Just go around the corner. <laughs> yeah, everyone else run away, and I'll just like <laughs> no, because then I'll just I'll succeed my casting and then stop casting as soon as everyone's gone. 
Um, fuck, well, no, right. well, well, what you should do is that Leopard Lopper, you should give him luck, and then everybody else run away, yeah. so you can luck low. Yeah, uh, uh, to, yeah, to be clear, is this is... standing in the exit. Yeah, this is like a weird focus, so, uh, in, in my head. So the way this would work is, if you pass it, the spell cancels, so, you know what I mean? You can and you can, can proceed to cast a spell on your turn, right? This is so yeah. it's kind of like at the start of your turn, just make the check. And if you do pass it, then you have it under control and it's no longer a problem. Okay. Fuck right. me. Um, Fucking I'm gonna try that. to toss luck out to people. So uh Leper Lopper and Ollie are gonna get luck if it succeeds, it succeeds. So we have luck again, and I'm gonna also try to I'm going to run away as far as I can. Like, probably just up to the other side of the room. I'll probably end up right next to Ollie, honestly. Moving around the statue to the other side of the room. Okay. But I'm very sorry, Paul. That will be Leper Lopper's turn, so... Now the giant statue gets to squish two of us, I think. Yep. I will D2. Uh, one is Crow Feeder. All right. Going on Bjorn. Bjorn, you injured it, so it's going to have a reduction on its attack. Okay. And then the other two attacks are going to be fine. Does that hit? So is it making all the attacks? Is, is that on me? Yeah, yeah. The, all the attacks are on yeah. you. Oh, all of them are on me. Okay. Yeah, uh, the first one was delayed, broken because yeah, of your... Uh, 20, yeah, 24 is a hit. Sorry. Okay. For 10. Right. And last one. Miss. Then lastly, there's one, two, three, four, five, six people to target. Uh, so that would be Gunk Boiler. Gunk Boiler needs to uh, make a constitution saving throw as a womp inception from the voice of the uh, of this golem like ripples through an array, uh, shaking them. Um, and if they don't pass, they will be slowed. As per the spell. Uh, 11. Not enough. Would you like to luck or... I don't know what slow is, so probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. What? Easy. It's faster instead. Yeah, okay. Eric, is he faster? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. Done. All right. Sister Julia, please save okay. us. Time for the flame strike. Let's see if it works. Um, it does. It's sheep. Holy fire. Six. Cool. It gets baptized in flame. It does you know? It's a it's a golem, so it's not like screaming or anything like that. It's ready to. No. And then I move where all he can't see me. Uh, yeah, do it. I think the only way to get away from Ollie's sight is either to run basically up to him in order to escape, or run past the statue down the stairs. I mean, objectively, I'm looking in a, a sink. No, I mean, I'm sure Eric's it's, gonna roll his three three sixty vision. It's large, so it's gonna it takes up the whole thing. It's eight feet tall. My turn is done. And I'm sure as a little goblin, I can't squeeze past. We have a long history of uh, being greased naked goblins running down the hallways in this game. Uh, I let you get past it uh, with a dexterity check. Just not automatically. Okay. Uh, Would that failing... be like my action? Yeah. So I think you could do it if you're willing to commit your whole action to it. But then um, you're not, you're not, you can't like double move, right? So like you can only go you are still be, be within near of it, you're still on the other side of it. If you make a dexterity check and you pass, I think you could keep your action, is my thought. 
that's kind of like how I like doing traversal stuff. Is okay. you'll, you 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 pass, but whether or not you keep your action at the end is the question. Gotcha. Do we think, team, that that's a good idea? Um, such that like I'm in the darkness past Gunk Boiler's torch. No so idea. Ollie can't see me. It's true. You would be. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and I have I have um. Like dexterity grit, so theoretically I would have advantage on that, right? Yep. Definitely. Okay. Uh, let's call it like a 15 to do it. Okay. Um. Nope. Damn. All right, you passed, but uh, you are... Uh, it takes more than you wanted to squeeze through. Okay. Um, and then Gunk Buller is going to... Uh, Bjorn, would you like to be have rage evoked in you? Sure. I love rage. Okay. So a crow feeder is somewhere on the other side. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll move my thing. Something like that, just conceptually. Um, Bjorn uh, is rageful now for three rounds. Uh, you're immune to morale checks, you have advantage on strength checks and melee attacks, and deal plus 1d4 damage for three rounds. Yeah. Uh, it ends if you don't attack another creature on your turn. Um, and then... Can Gunk Boiler just, like, get on the other side of the statue from Ollie? <laughs> Uh, no, it doesn't block your sight. It's large, but it's not it's tall. It's not big enough. Gotcha. Even well, as a little goblin? Got down on the floor. Mm. You can try, but then you're stationary. He would love to try. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I imagine. I think, like, the, the, the rhino's probably... Sorry, it's probably, like, the size of a rhino, uh, like, a small rhino or a small hippopotamus. Okay. Sounds... So it's pretty That's big. Funny. It's not just particularly tall, but yeah, as a goblin, I guess you could kind of squat down. Um, gotcha. That's me. Okay. All right. Um, Poor Paul. Yeah, I'll be disintegrated over here. Nice. That's it. Uh, can you make a disintegration check? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Roll a d1000 uh, on a natural 1000. You reincorporate somehow. As an angel, <laughs> um, Bjorn is going to uh, down his potion of extra healing, and uh, then just start start hacking at this thing uh, again, trying to keep it off off balance. Mm -hmm. That hits. It's, but does not get off the thing. Ugh. These damage rolls. One and a two. Uh, can anyone remind me how much an extra healing potion does? I have no idea, I'm afraid. Deep. D10 plus one. Okay. That's me. I would get a oh, line of sight of Ollie if you can figure out any uh, way to do that. But the, the construct in. Bjorn fears neither wizards nor constructs. I will slay this thing while others cower and flee. I wish I'd made a, an oath to a uh, disintegrate yeah. party member today. That would have been great. We got that in seconds. Um... So, is swimming <laughs> to, to destroy a, a giant construct bigger than killing a minotaur? <laughs> yes, definitely. Definitely. So Especially Julia, when you're dodging. I will destroy this you. construct while everyone else cowers and flees. Bjorn will I take hear, it. I hear your oath. And it is accepted. Absolutely. This is an oathworthy thing. All right. Please, more hit points. 
No, I think it's attack. Yeah. Don't attack one. Too late, too late bonus to hit. Alright. Not for doing actual real damage to this thing or not. That turn? Yep. That's me. Cool. Well, here goes nothing. Here's my reverse focus. Oh, Jesus Christ. You have luck. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm just... This is ridiculous. Let the RNG uh, air out a little bit. No rush to... It's overheated. Uh, <laughs> it's overheated. Uh, look. Good on too many sessions. Even at me, I can take it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right, okay. So now uh, I'm going to cast slow on it. Mm -hmm. uh, try and not cast that on someone else. So the slow is uh, level three. Okay. Cool. It's slow. Nice. Yep. So it can only attack once with dis disadvantage. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. That would have been a much smarter play. Hmm. Cool. Adam's turn. Uh, turn. Do I just give luck again? Is that what I do? Give a Bart. That's the job. Yeah. Uh, whoever, who's missing luck? Ollie. <laughs> just, just Ollie. The, the perpetual luck funnel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have luck again. Oh, oh and Gunk Boiler. Actually, Gunk Boiler could use it. Alright, Gunk Boiler also gets luck, because I can get off the Perfect. Here. Thank you. Alright, Eric. Please don't squish Bjorn. Go on, try, right? Nope, I have a Crow Feeder. Okay. Uh, Crow Feeder. Um, it is AC locked 21. down. It is locked down by Ollie's spell. And then it starts punching normally. Missing. Three misses. Then one, two, three. Ollie, uh, your spell has no effect on it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so much for that then. Uh, let's see. D6. Uh, cool. That's also, that's Gunk Boiler. Gunk Boiler, and you need another slow. Uh, con, yeah. con save to not be slowed. He's not slow. Nice. Great. Um, actually, on the note of Ollie's spell not working, can we tell if Bjorn has been able to affect it, and if Sister Julia's fire was able to affect it? Um... There's scratches from the sword. Okay. Any sign from the fire? No sign from fire. Okay. Doesn't mean it's not so affecting it. Basically, backing up Bjorn in a one v one. Well, hey, crow, crow feeders up there too. Okay. <laughs> Can you do damage to it? I have a plus three weapon. Okay. Well, I run up and I'm going to hit it with the mace because I. What better way to shatter rock with a big blunt object? I'm going to luck it because 11 is rubbish. 24. Nice. That hits. 5 damage. Nice. With, uh, with what? Mir plus 2 mace of uh, Mirasso. Yeah, Mirasso's mace. Nice. Mm -hmm. And has another target to attack. Okay. Me. Okay. Um. Sister Julia, would you like to have a uh, rage evoked in you. Sure. I think you're just going to be attacking. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, this may seem more effective than the fire. I couldn't tell without the fire. And if spells aren't seem to work, I don't know if holy fire works. Yeah. Um, with and I'm I'm evoking rage in you with the assumption that gunk boiler can't get crow feeder because it's a touch thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna lock that. <laughs> Um, that still fails. Fail. Oh, have juice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's still here. Yeah. Um. Then Crowfeeder is going to, uh, you know, from the darkness where I don't think Sister Julia can see him, but he'll he'll still shout to her, and he'd like to swear an oath to, uh, flank this construct alongside Bjorn um, and destroy it. Sure. So I'll I'll roll to the gods. That there, which is a five, just in case it affects the attack. So I have plus one to attack. Which is awesome. Mm. Uh, Mighty D doesn't matter, but it is a hit. Mm. Okay. And it's six points of damage. Um, and it seems to be immune to slowed, so probably not a Constitution check there. Right. In which case, that's me. It's cracking. Keep hacking, keep trying to disrupt its attacks. Uh-huh. Ooh, there you go. Yep. There we go. Nice. Down it goes. Born, you fell it. Where's the weak spot? Start hammering with the mace to make it little dusty pieces. Well done. Oh, oh look at it all goes quiet. Out. Bjorn breathes happily. This sword's pretty good. <laughs> all he goes over <laughs> to Bruce's <laughs> dust and goes, Whoops. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Do we, we like him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he had bad stats. <laughs> <laughs> he was a negative one dex. He was a thief. Any, he had bad anyone stats. doesn't like the character, just bring him out with Ollie. We'll start it. We'll unreal. A new character generator. Absolutely uh, unreal. Oh fuck me. Um, do we want to go back to Goblin Town and get Paul a new guy, or like Paul? Do you want to just like play Gunk Boiler, or like? I have a I have a, a seer I could bring. Chert could come along. Um, I love the idea that a seer shows up being like I'm needed for some reason. <laughs> yeah. No, I was gonna I was gonna if you were gonna let me do it, uh, Eric, I was just gonna burn the torch to come up from Goblin Town yeah, and be sure like, I it. foresaw that y'all needed yeah. some help on this. Yeah, uh, it's so yeah. that's so funny and kinda and we're at the start right outside the a base that like I'm kinda cool with that if everyone else is right. funny or funny or You're not. Of course. Yeah. Hi, I'm it's Paul. Weird. I'm playing Finlock, the level one <laughs> Borkin seer who just happens to show up is like I I thought y'all might need some help. <laughs> uh, yeah, Paul. <laughs> That's so, so funny. The in the forest, like a thousand specks of <laughs> dust calling, crying out at once. Uh, is it is it too much to to bring food mender with you from Goblin Town? Just so uh, we have no, leave. no, no. Go ahead, send it. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you you collect food mender. I I foresee. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, God. You'll I'm learn. sorry, that was such a meme-worthy death. <laughs> yeah, it it's just like, we open the door, there's a monster there. It's like, okay, I disintegrate. Okay, I disintegrate my teammate instead. Oh. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised I didn't keep disintegrating other P- uh, PCs. 
Thank you for not passing. This is fire. um, this is a, a a good addition to the list of what happens to great sword wielding thieves before they can get a backstab off. True. <laughs> My God, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Bjorn, do you need healing? Um, uh, I'm okay. I'm at fifteen out of eighteen after drinking okay. that potion. All right. I also have three potions, so. Uh, does the round end? Can I cast luck one more time or do my luck thing one more time? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, we're literally like waiting. Uh, you all have to burn a torch yourselves, waiting for um, so and so. I uh, forgot. Sorry. Um, food mender and Fenlock. All right. Anyone that needs luck has luck. The F's in I chat. Have light. Cool. Uh, just so it's clear now, we're running um, Fenlock and food member added to the group, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. Cool. Yeah, and Food Mender will uh, take his place at the front of the party. He will extend his extendo 10-foot pole, the one that can like turn into a baton or a quarterstaff, and start you know poking ahead of the group. Nice. Yeah, I forgot about that. Cool. Uh, let's let's respike this door. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then, yeah, roll light. Okay, so we had to burn one torch waiting for everyone else, and now we're going to be burning another torch as time passes as we go down the stairs. Yep. These are our Kantian stone stairs. They're 10 feet wide as we descend. Um, doesn't take long for things to feel like you're entering a bad sauna. Um, the humidity is very high. It smells like water. And uh, yes, as we get down to the bottom, uh, there is a small lake of murky water. Uh, obfuscating view. Um, a back wall about 20 feet approximately sits uh, behind. I don't, is this deliberately not gridded? Huh? I see a grid. It's off grid. Is that deliberate? Oh. Mm, I don't know. We're just, we're just bad at placing things. Yeah. I think that's what happened. We need Rory to do mapping. Rory's a good mapper, and he's on vacation. Yeah. The submerged museum? That's on grid, isn't it? I see a grid. Yeah, the museum, the museum part's fine. It's just, like, yeah. this corridor is, like, offset. I don't know if it should be, like, five more feet to the east or something. Probably. I don't know. It's dark. I would say as you guys are proceeding the this width, you know, if this was like a a test on a, a SAT exam, this is forty. Anywho, uh, yeah, you can stand two abreast. You have notes about the water, mm-hmm. the water, as they say, where I'm from. Say water in Maryland too. Water, yeah. Mm. What? It's almost a Philly thing. Oh, oh, it's a, water. it's a South Jersey thing too. Maryland, uh, the whole area. Water. Water. Um. Cool. Uh, Boston, it doesn't do our, ours, right? Water. Yeah. Water. Um. Water. Ollie will uh, so true. <laughs> shame face. Like, oh, I guess I'll I'll go in. Does anyone want to come with me? And he can cast uh, water breathing on anyone that wants to come. Uh, Bjorn, Bjorn will go in. Bjorn has no fear. This is what when is we were talking about uh, the worry. casting bless on the water to purify it, right? To make it clear. Yes. We can try that. Yeah. Do, 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 do. So do you want me to just cast it as is? I think so. Just see if it works at all. Get an idea of how much space it purifies. Because if it's like a five by five foot square that it purifies, Mm -hmm. it's not worth it for us to worry about, I don't think. 
Oh, let's get it dry. Can... Yeah. I cast Bless yeah. upon the water. You add a teaspoon of holy water to this ocean. It has no effect on the water. Mm -hmm. It is not... It is, it is not... Exactly. It's not magically poisoned or evil, corrupted, as where we've seen in the past where this has worked. It, it's just it's just water mixed with... Murky. Yeah. We need, we need some sweet portion of sweet water or something. If mm. such a thing exists. And well, with my the shadow spoon version, of yeah. water on my hand, I walk over to Olympiodorus and I, I mark him. Thanks. Uh, I suppose I, we should get some flame uh, water resistant light sources uh, up in this place Me. first, right? Yeah. Um, I can I can do that as well. Um, I guess I'll cast up my spear. Cool. Bjorn, then... what item would you like done? I uh, cast on my gauntlet. Swimming around looking like Iron Man. Yeah. There you go. Glowing hand. All right. I was always reaching out to Bjorn. Bjorn's going to say, you're not going to, like, turn my lungs into water or something, are you? No promises. No promises. <laughs> um, uh, what were we doing? Cool. So this will give you five rounds um, if I succeed. Yeah, cool. We've got water breathing for five rounds. Uh, anyone else want to come on? On the knowledge that every round I spend casting people is around Bjorn's is going to be taken down. Start going. Oh, Bjorn, Bjorn's going straight in. Cool. Yeah. Um, Do you want Crowfeeder there for support? It, he is weighed down by heavy armor. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Go, I didn't mean to interrupt me. Oh, no, I'm done. I was um, like two thirds of my effectiveness if I go in there because I can't pull a scroll out and cast it underwater. True. So. so. Probably so not. just to help everybody set the scene a little bit too, like this is where the water starts and it's like ankle deep. And then at the stairs, it goes down. And then at this last part, you run out of air. So you can actually be hanging out like yeah, here. Yeah, here's fine. It's like yeah, knee yeah. deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In terms gotcha. of how far can you get with these okay. water breathing, like you don't need it until you're over here. Yeah, I mean, all they can just be standing there going, Go, go, go. He's in full plate as well. So he'll be like, um, like, um, the two of us are just going to be trudging along the bottom. Yeah. Yeah. It's, um, is the goal here to like get these chests out? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Um, then yeah, but, I mean, hit Crow Feeder with one. He'll get in there and just cool. port. Right. So yeah, Ollie fires one on Bjorn, and Bjorn has a, a round of movement. Then he fires another one on Crow Feeder. Uh, Crow Feeder has a round of movement. And then if anyone else wants, he'll do another round on, on that. Um, otherwise, he'll just go in himself. He's dropping his, his torches and, and stuff at the top of the stairs. <laughs> Not going to need them down there. Well, I mean, actually, do we want the thief to check out the chests. I don't know what you've investigated already. So Her Heronby looked at them, but it was murky. So yeah, it wasn't it wasn't called idea. out that there were traps on them with Heronby's thief sight, but that might just be because he couldn't see them. Um, so I'm prepared to just try and drag them out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I say let's drag them, and then food vendor can investigate them on shore before we open them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if we if we can drag them up to where they're like out of the water, like on the stairs, and then other people can drag them the rest of the way. Sure. Do you two um have a strength of thirty to combined? Covader has a. I have seventeen. Twelve. So we're at twenty nine. Close. Okay. Well. Uh, Ollie, you're crazy strong, aren't you? You're gonna need yeah. to come up. You're gonna need to come up with a better solution to pull them out because you both are gonna try, and it's gonna be too heavy for both of you to to heave cool. okay. reasonably. Right. These are heavy do stone chests. Me, me and room? Ollie can do it. Ollie, you've got like yeah. seventeen strength or something, don't you? You can try to rope cool. it up. There's, so, there's okay. also other items on the points. So crow feeder, you could go and grab those. Yeah. Uh, there's like 
So we took the L-shaped wand and the GameCube from the bottom and middle right-hand side ones, but the other four, uh, no, three of the other ones have got items on them, which need to be collected. Then yeah, then Crowfader will start swiping from pedestals oh, while you guys get... And, and the oh. arc, there was a glow of Arcanum in the middle. Oh, oh yeah, the right. Cool. Uh, yeah, so as soon as that's done, Ollie will come no. down. Right. Ollie, so stop. You're two, two turns ahead. Nope, stop, stop, stop. Hang on, Ollie. When you come down yep. and you're within 30 feet of this thing, of this Arcanum, you're going to need to make a saving throw for me. This is oh. like a this is like a dwarven greed kind of situation of like I must have it. Uh, what's the save? Uh, I'm gonna have to look that up for you. I'm sorry, um, but yeah, this stuff. Yeah, uh, Arcanum in large quantities like this uh, can produce sort of like a covetous. I have to have yeah. it kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, the version of it. Let's see here. Where it's a pocket. Um. It's a saver spells, so uh, let's say this is going to be then a 13. Um, charisma. Um, charisma. Okay. Right. Um, so just flat. D20. Nope. Uh, D20. Lock it. Totally lockable. Nope. No. Okay. Um, you're, you must get this Arcanum out of here. Cool. Where are you? Well, that's what I do then. Uh, is it something um, I can carry on my own? Yes, you can carry it on your own. Um, it's surprise. You're it's easy for a muscle wizard like you to to carry it, but you basically like crow feeder and Bjorn are probably trying to yell at you in underwater, and you're just like walking right by them, and you're like, I got it. Take this. Uh, cool. You, gotcha. you, know, you can see it's like you can see like the you know in the in the movie or whatever it's like you can see his eyes like you know just like the glowing part of it like this is i must have this um, yeah okay uh can you can you roll a 2d6 for me please this has been a successful session uh 11 nice uh that's really good uh can you roll a d8 for me now uh when you say good you mean not good at all right oh fuck Oh no! What does that mean? Uh, I think it we, likes you. This is very good. Um, you will learn a new spell. Oh shit! And upon touching this stuff, you gain insight into spell creation, and you will gain nice. a new uh random level. Let's say D three. You'll gain a new level two spell. Um, we can either you can either. Uh, it even calls us out. We can either work together to design a new spell that would be level two appropriate, or we can pick one from the book. Uh, I have no idea what level two flash is. But that, that's, that's, no, it's, it's not, not level two, dude. It's not level two. Right. <laughs> that, that ain't level two. But um, stone to wood want... <laughs> make them easier to carry out of that place. It doesn't have to turn the whole thing into stone, just like their head, you know. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay. Well, we can we can come up with that. Um, off, off, uh, yeah, we'll off come up with it later. Yeah, you've been struck with inspiration from holding this arcanum. Uh, now obviously, you're not going to be able to, or like, this is going to be a you got to keep all this on you. Yeah, it is explicitly like what we're dealing with here. Let me give you the size of this so I can figure out the um, how much pack it is. Uh, let's see. Pack ten. It, oh shit! You're welcome. You're welcome guys. Um, it is always oh, just been a great addition to this session so far. Brother, uh, this thing has to be pack ten. Okay. It is uh, eight feet tall. It is eight feet tall, seven feet wide, and five feet long. Cool. Uh, well, then I would drop. I, I mean, I, I would have dropped my potion bandolier at the top of the stairs as well. I said it just said torches, but you know that that's yeah. also not useful um, underwater. So that would actually make me just okay to to take the whole thing. Um, cool. Well, that's what Ollie's doing. I'll let everyone else get on. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any, there's to be anybody. You, um, in fact, actually, when you take that out, there's no other spell casting wizard in the group, so you wouldn't be like. 
they would also feel that compulsion to it. So it, it's not just you personally; it's any any wizard. Yeah. Oh, which is well for what's um, worth. Once you're out of the water, can you start giving more people water breathing so that they can carry chests? I don't know. Can I, Eric? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You can cast. You can cast spells fine. You just cannot let this thing go. Right. Yeah. 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 I love that Ollie's new cohort is a giant rock. Yeah. A You're... giant lump of Arcana. And he has to drag it around with the... uh Rock yeah, he's called Rocky. Uh who's who's wanting to go? Who's who has a high enough strength to help Bjorn with um animal You need at least thirteen. Thirteen or higher. Uh if you put if you, I don't have I can make Thank up for the thirty, but I can't Oh oh shit. Hold on. We're not we're not done here. <laughs> oh, I'm so yeah. sorry, guys. No, it is you're you you're allowed to pick it up and carry it, okay? But you're as far as it because I'm concerned, you cannot you can carry it out of the water, but you're not going to go any further. I'm just going to sit down and like when a large pocket is encountered, on, such beings must successfully yeah, literally ponder it. Yeah, when when yeah. a large pocket is encountered, such beings must successfully save their spells or else be compelled to remain in the Arcanum pocket for a random amount of days, studying the substance and basking in its potency. For each day in the pocket, the caster must roll on the table below to determine the effects. So I rolled the effects for the first day. But you are cool. you are not going anywhere. You are So never mind, you're not able to cast more spells. Yeah. You, are, you are straight up pondering this thing. <laughs> right, I'm going to go to the toilet. I'll let you guys. Yeah, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is... What a, okay. Uh, yeah. Anyone can help themselves to my amulet of water breathing off my oh off my neck. Just take it. Yeah. I'm too busy pondering. I'm okay. Well, someone can certainly do that. I think at the yeah. very least, we can at least try and like, uh, like Gunk Boilers got a net that we can try and get around one of these things to hopefully help. Mm -hmm. And especially in the water, it should be a little bit easier. Okay. Can Lepperlopper just walk up to Ollie and take his necklace of uh, adaptation that he's had for a long time so I can go help? Yeah. Yeah. Or is I'll he going to be like, hostile to anyone you touching him? If you have strength him? for it, then sure. Yeah, I have strength 14, so I can help. Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, yes. Go for it. Hand off my scrolls to probably uh, someone who can cast wizard spells from a scroll. A gunk boiler. So hand him off to Gunk Boiler and go and help. Yeah, Gunk Boiler doesn't want to go in the water. Leave Ollie to contemplate his giant couch-sized thing of... <laughs> yeah, literally a couch-sized moon rock. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> it's so sick. It's not moon, but yeah. It's uh, this glow... I mean, it's literally glowing. Like, everyone can see that it's there's magical potency to it, right? He's, he's found a big piece of uranium and he's happy. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, so I have strength 14 so I can help Bjorn move chests. Yeah. By the time all this like back and forth has gone on, I've probably just got like one round of water breathing left. So yeah, sure. get this one out, then what how how does holding your breath work? Is it like So we should do we should do the furthest one. Right? And uh, also con we save should... and start taking damage. So we take the furthest one and take that out. Yeah, I think we should also set up a net plus length of rope situation so that Leper Lopper, mm -hmm. who can continue to breathe, can net a chest and then we, around the corner, can just use six people to pull. And then you can be down there underwater, like, guiding it and helping from the back end. Yeah, we also have some rope, too. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. And okay. then just do that to every single chest. Okay, so we so we get one out. Which one? You want water breathing finishes. So the, the bottom furthest one right. was from the. Okay. Because I figure the other ones are going to be easier to get out. Mm -hmm. and, then uh, and then I'm going to also try to. So I'm going to tie the net and uh, rope off to each chest, and they're going to pull them out and. Then while they're pulling chests out and I'm waiting, I'm going to try to clean off these uh, pedestals and read the rest of these words. 
These okay. Metric ones like battery on pedestal, blank blank uh, of blank. Yeah. For sure. Uh, okay, so that would be. Yes. Uh. That's the one that says, source of Radishva power. All right. Very much for all. Was that it's one of the bad? Then I think there was one with the tablet, the beacon thing. There was a, we got like half of the words of that one too. Uh, that one reads the tablet of the beacon. That's all it says. Uh, there is graffiti Here's underneath like... it though. That's it's been added. It says ellipses when it is recovered from the command chamber on the chasm floor. Ooh. Ooh, so we know where the, the tablet of the beacon is on the cavern floor somewhere. Or it was a thousand years ago. Yeah. See, that's that's a good question, Eric. Is the um, Wait, is the graffiti in mythic? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I am going to need Sister Julia to cast light on me so I can see down here. Okay. Oh, someone can grab my spear that's got light on it. Molly's just putting everything down and sat down like <laughs> up to his up to his neck. He's just like sat in the water pondering his orb. Oh, just help. Yeah. Help yourself. Uh, further. Yeah. Uh, furthermore, as you guys are investigating, there is actually another inscription in this room, uh, near the middle. Uh, it says that it was by the Arcanum. Uh, it was in Mithric, and I will give that to you now. Uh, let us learn from our predecessors who discovered Arcanum and were mighty sorcerers. We must venerate, not exterminate, the Radishva. In fact, realistically, his spear's probably down there because he probably just had to drop it to pick the the yeah. the arcana. Yeah, off. I mean, Crowfeeder would grab it before he he would like yeah. leave it there when he surfaced. Totally. Right. But it's a, I, it's a black I, iron spear, so you need strength seventeen to actually wield it. <laughs> oh yeah, he is. He is. He's not going to wield it. <laughs> All right. Are we able to get the rest of yeah, the stuff he's... by going and netting and dragging? This yeah, is Bjorn pulling on a rope with uh, Wiper Whopper pushing sufficient. Yeah, I'm willing. I'm willing to give this to you all. Just mark off a whole torch for a time passing as you guys do it. Is that okay? I'll mark off the torch. Okay. Nice. And we've the also stairs. got the skulls and bracelets and. Yeah, I'm assuming you're getting everything. Yeah, mm -hmm. Crow yes. was grabbing those. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I assume so... we're, we're not bothering with the empty chest. No. Um, Empty. I'll take my sword and I'll like stab at the bottom of it a bit and see if there's like a false bottom. But I'll Steve, I think that was an empty pedestal. Uh, good. So the empty way to be thorough, but there's nothing in there. The, the tablet one, uh, but the top left chest was also empty. Okay, so here's what you have grabbed. Oh yes, yes. I'm willing. I'm willing to give you the whole room now because we've spent. We're gonna say we're just we're thoroughly doing this right for the. Um, purposes of time uh, and yeah paul yeah i was gonna say uh, does that include i guess would we already know that there's no secret rooms in here because heron b went around and you would have told us or i mean there's a pathway no. i'm worried that i'm gonna get no i'm you have wheels. you have not detected any passages in this whole chamber okay um this th i'm saying the whole hour was due to delicate, deliberate use of hauling these chests out and getting a thorough accounting of the stuff that's been written on here rather than the rest of the exploration of the room. Does that make sense? We're, we're doing extraction rather than exploration. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. So then um, I'm going to read everything as follows, okay? So the first pedestal, the one I'm going to go um, from the left down and then to the right down, okay? Uh, so the first pedestal on the western side, uh, there was a single bracelet. That's pack one. The inscription underneath that, that has been cleaned off, now reads, Radishva Artifact. Very helpful. 
The second pedestal on the western side is a, a tripod that holds nothing. Uh, and on that disc, it raises the tablet of the beacon, right? With the following um, graffiti added to the um, disc-like pedestal that it's on. It says, when it's recovered from the command chamber and the chasm floor, which I've already pasted into the rolls channel. The th uh, third pedestal on the western side uh, was a large skull. So this is actually going to be packed. Uh, this is actually going to be... It's, it is, it's a large skull, but it's far heavier than um, it appears to be a skull of a Radishva, uh, for the inside of it is filled with silver. Uh, this is going to be pack two. All right, now on the eastern side, uh, oh, sorry, uh, the western side, that inscription where the skull was just reads Radishva, Radishva. All right, on the eastern side, uh, there is a... Um, you've seen these before. These are one of those batteries. Uh, I'll also give this to you for free. The, um, battery power is, it won't even turn on. And the inscription, the inscription says source of Rudishva power, which I've already copied over. All right. Uh, so that would be the second pedestal. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We're on the second pedestal on the Eastern side, right? That was the first pedestal. The second one, uh, there's nothing there because we've already taken the thing that was there last time. Uh, the inscription says, do not touch, dangerous. Uh, it is, and with exclamation points and warning symbols on it. Hermes uh, just walking around with that in his pocket. Uh, lastly, there is a tripod that is also empty, uh, but the inscription cleaned off reads uh, very clearly, Rudishva Sorcery. Yeah, and to be clear, the last two, the um, pedestals, they were uh, taken by Harambee last time. There, there we are. Okay, oh, now let's gotcha. talk about the, okay. now let's talk about the chests. Okay, so there are four chests to talk about. The first chest has been uh, was the empty chest that um, Lepper Lopper prodded, or I think maybe Gunk Boiler did. Somebody somebody prodded it to make sure it's definitely empty and it is confirmed empty. The second chest has uh, contains the following: it contains ten fist size lumps of Arcanum, pack one each. The third chest you've pulled out has six of those batteries. Uh, it has two uh, half helmets or like bandanas. Uh, it has a L-shaped wand uh, and something I need to look up because I don't know what this is. The L-shaped wand, is it reminiscent to anyone that's seen it of Salar Key's weird L-shaped wand? Yes. Oh, it's a pistol. Fucking laser gun, son. Like a laser pistol? It is. Yeah. Yep. Guys, can I have one? <laughs> right? Harry <laughs> B's been holding it backwards this whole time. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, and you're holding... Yeah. Uh, the last thing is a heavy one-inch square with a red button. Mm. That seems oh. ominous. It's like ominous. a detonator, probably, it's right? It's pack one. We'll use nobody press it, and unless you're standing really <laughs> far away from everyone else. That's the, you, Adam. That's the third chest. Okay? So, the, remember, the third chest, just to recap again, six, six of these uh, batteries... Two weird half masks that go over your mouth. A, um, yeah, a, a laser pistol. And that weird detonator looking button device. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fourth chest. Uh, it has 10 ingots of platinum. Yo. There we go. How big? That's it. Uh, they are five pound ingots, so a slot each. All right. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, they're called out as large ingots, uh, so they're packed two each. Okay. Sorry about that. I 
I thought the point of an ingot is that it's a single size. <laughs> so that, but like, whatever. Yeah. Okay, cool. We've got 40. Like, well, a five pound ingot doesn't sound that large. It's not. It's a large platinum ingot. It says weighing 20 pounds each. Oh. Which I have converted okay. down to pack two. So I would say a single ingot would be. Yeah. So okay. all this takes 44 slots. Or pack. Yeah. That's okay. slots. I, it's interchangeable. Uh, all right. Let me double check. What Should. Should we go to break and kind of just like do this Tetris? Sure. That'd be best, yeah. Yeah, so we can just kind of chill. One question. Yeah, for sure. The spell known as uh, Restoration removes an effect or affliction from someone. Would that work on Ollie to remove whatever is possessing him? Yeah. Think about that while we go on break. Yeah, yeah. Let me let me have a think about it. I, it sounds it sounds pretty good. All right. All right. So we load up. We go to the math. Is, the math has been mathed. Someone want to do a light spell? Mm -hmm. We don't need one. We have a giant glowing chunk of Arcanum providing light for us. Well, uh, wait. Can well, you, can you have to hold on. You have to cast that spell, Lauren. Yeah. 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 We have to see if if Ollie's going anywhere. <laughs> Just give me one moment. You Such a fucking liability. You certainly yeah, have man. luck. <laughs> yeah, the, Lewis, you should just roll a fighter. <laughs> uh. Oh no, I crit fumbled my attack. <laughs> oh dear. Are there crit fumbles for attacks no. in this game? No, no, no. no, okay. no, no. Literally, literally just smell casting and literally just for me. I can. <laughs> Apparently. Well, yeah. Uh, it's incredible. You, well, you definitely and... do live in. Yeah. I, in, in fairness, in fairness, that result on the. I mean, this is going to be small comfort to Paul, but that result on the um, crit fumble for level five was we we got really really light that you can like open other the fucking dimensions and like yeah it's just like an expanding void of nothing that consumes the entire fucking world just, and, yeah. yeah and then yeah. imagine eight of those and then <laughs> that's where i am uh, <laughs> <laughs> damn i pass i cast restoration on ollie, ollie to um remove the affliction I honestly, I, I picture this Lauren just uh, Sister Julia coming up and slapping him over the face, and then wake the fuck up, <laughs> get your shit together, no, Ollie. No, she is so appreciative of the rescue that she does it very gently. Kind of tussles your hair and. Come on, Ollie, time to go now. Then. Oh, I mean, he oh, did Sister just Julia, disintegrate yes. the person that unlocked you from the water. Yes. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Before you start fixating again, we gotta get the fuck out of here. Yeah, like what's the what's the deal? Am I like do I need to re-roll that now or like do we need a, a procedure for making sure Ollie doesn't look at it again? You're good for 24 you, hours. You carry these oh. uh, platinum bars, I'll carry your magic rock. Yeah. Yeah. My precious. Um, I think as a bard. Uh, in general, both of you would have an idea that, and it, so I think this implies both. Oh, Brutus is dead. Oh, wait, uh, Gunk Boiler. Gunk Boiler and Leper Lopper. Wait, no, where's Harambe? Not here. Just Steve. I'm, I'm Bjorn. Oh. oh, you're Bjorn. That's why I'm like, what the hell? Okay, yeah. So both the bards, I think it's relatively well known at this point that, um, yeah, Arcanum can give. It's basically like radioactive, so that being around it will infuse different feel like stuff to the person observing it. Not necessarily like mutations, but I mean like there's like almost like magical radiation. So when you carry this for an hour as we go back to Goblin Town, yeah. When you have a third arm next session, just know that it gives you an extra attack instead. John has no fear. Could it like it in you'll know everything? There's positive and negative effects. And you roll randomly. Could it give like a fighter magic? No. Okay. Not to use as a shiny rock. But to but to a wizard, it's a rock that does math. Uh, 
I'm thinking this might be the kind of thing that we don't want to just stumble into Goblin Town with. Yeah, um, if someone wants to bring the rug to it. <laughs> so, yeah, and then... Like, if we get up to the, like, the scarab door, and then a couple of people nip on then to Goblin Town and bring the rug back, that might be, that might be good. Yeah. Or even just, like, throw a blanket over it. I mean, it's, it's pretty bright, this, uh, this glow. Okay, well, yeah, fair. Uh, I think that's a good plan. Going back to Goblin Town, you're going to get the following experience and treasure. So most of the items that I've presented to you do not have experience values combined, mm. associated with them. They're mostly considered magic items, despite not being magical. Um, here is the XP share and gold share per player. I just want to double check and make sure I have the right characters all selected here. I have Brutus off the list. I have Battle Sister Julia, I have Olympias, I have Bjorn, I have Leper Lopper, I have Crow Feeder, I have Gunk Boiler, Brutus, not Brutus, Rip, uh, Fenlock, and I have Food Mender. Is that all right? Didn't miss anybody. That's everybody. Okay, good. The XP share then is 6,319, and then your gold share is 7,143 per character. Jesus. Wow. That is the platinum bars. Those platinum bars. Jeez, oh. How much were they each? Five thousand. Mm. Leveled up. Well, Ollie really earned his share today. He brought the necklace. <laughs> brought the necklace. Yeah. Disintegrated someone, brought a necklace and pieced out. Oh, I'm very glad I played Julia today. Yeah, I'm, I'm very are glad. Are you level eight? Are you, are you level? No. This is a, oh. No. Oh, no Ocho? It is so far. I'm at... What am I at? 81,725, and I need 120,000. Oh, yeah. Sick. I'm just saying, <laughs> but I mean, all the light spells, the, the restoration, it just... Oh, yeah. Don't worry, that's a lot of spending all, money. All three goblins have leveled up. Huzzah! Mm -hmm. All right. Finlock uh, is what level. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> my my job here is done. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't do anything. The reward. Did I? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yep. All right. Right. What do, we're doing do with the next hour and a half session. session. That was is that it? Pretty close <laughs> to being uh, ten minutes. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that is that? Uh, do you guys do you guys want to wrap? Is like that's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good I think going? so. I should go do homework. I mean, I'm I'm down to clang, but I I want to keep playing. I, I need yeah. to go murder a merchant. Don't know if anyone's uh, on board for that. Uh, can I ask a cl quick clarifying question? Definitely. Uh, which is. Do cohorts get a full or half gold share? Oh, thank you. They get a half. Our companions get no, sorry. Uh, companions get half treasure, but they get full XP. So three. Uh, okay. Six three nineteen and three five seven one. Three five seven one. Got it. So all of the everything else that we recovered. Did we? Magic. No. Did you? Did we want to see what the other things, like what the the devices and stuff you have, what they do? Oh yes, please. Okay. Um. Let me know what you're doing. Is it fuck around and find out time, or do we want to? Yeah. Ask? Okay. Okay. Sister Julia wants to read the battery. Okay. Uh, do any look like they have charge? Uh, yes. Uh, two of them are 80%. One of them is dead. The remaining, uh... Wait, so, two of them are 80. One of them, one of them is at 10%. Uh, one of them's at zero. And one's at 20%. I want to 
don't know what the thing with the red button does. Yeah, you do. Will you describe that again, Eric? Yep. It is a heavy four inch square with a red button. Uh, it is me um, metallic. The uh, button is plasteel. It's literally there are no there are no directions. This is like a yeah. Um, oh, sorry. No, the whole thing is not. It's not made of steel. I lied. This is a one. Uh, wait a second. Oh shit! I'm so sorry. This is a one foot square device. That's a single apostrophe, not two. The one. Oh, this is a one foot square shaped device made of plasteel. Um. Based on the way it's a square and its designs on it, uh, it appears to be want to be put on the ground. Like it has feet or like, a you know, it's stable on the ground. Oh. Pop up shelter or something. Maybe. Yeah, should we button. do this in Goblin Town or should we do this away from Goblin Town? Maybe. Should it away from Goblin away. Town? Uh, yeah, we don't want the goblins knowing what we got. Um... Yeah. I assume, I assume you're doing this in your consulate. Or in the here. Or in Gosterwick. I'm just going to nuke, gonna nuke Gosterwick with it. Um, so do we want to spend some time figuring things out, or do we want to keep adventuring? I'd like to keep adventuring, personally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or, like, the, oh, no, the only thing that I'd want to figure out is this laser pistol, because I kind of, I just want to bring it. <laughs> yeah. well, uh, there's two, there's there's two of them. There's two of them. There's two. Yeah, do they look different? No. Well, Aaron being noted. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, do they, do they oh, look the different? Oh, the one Aaron has that says danger, don't touch, and then the one oh. in the yeah. chest. Does mm -hmm. that also... Well, Crowfeet would like to touch no, they the look one look different. the chest. Yeah, they, they do look uh, slightly different. The one that says danger, don't touch uh, has a stubbier uh, barrel. So it's slightly not as long. Yellow is smaller. Maybe it's is like it less... Oh. Has it got a piece missing? Like, does it look like, like, like they? Yeah, is there like, is there, is there is some there... exposed threading on on the end of the 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 barrel that like something's supposed to screw onto? Or... Uh, no. Um, can so the one in the chest, right? Not the one that's a danger. Uh, well, actually, well, is there is there like a, the, a trigger? Uh, each of these L, yes, but each of these L shaped things, uh, clearly like have a spot to put one of these battery packs into it. So each okay. pistol has a battery pack, uh, for uh, that would mm -hmm. would be the same size as the uh, the six that you just found. Gotcha. Then Crofader wants to to put one of those battery packs in there without having the barrel facing him. <laughs> Which um. Okay. Well, you have several different batteries of different degrees of power in them. Oh. Will you say those numbers again, somebody? I have them written down. Hold on. Two at eight. Is there one that's like half full? Um. So the way it looks, uh, is it actually has scissor? It has scissor-like grips. Um. So it doesn't have a trigger. It has like scissor grips. So you would like put Do your I hand mean, like, through you, like, it. Close it. And like clamp. They're currently, yeah. They're currently the the grips are not touching. Okay. So he'll take one of the, the those eighty percent ones, screw it on, point the barrel at a wall, and then squeeze. Sure. Pew, pew, pew. Shoots a uh, exactly like Sailor uh, Sailor keys. God, that's so sick. Yeah. Is it and it's like a ranged dex? Does weapon, 3D4, right? Yeah, it does. Uh, yep. Uh it will be far. It does uh three D four damage points of damage. Holy shit. Let's go find something to kill. I know guys, let's go kill something. Nether reaches, yo. <laughs> battery, um, what what kind of reading is the battery at now? I don't know. Was it a full battery before? It was eighty percent. Was it eighty percent? Got it. Uh so it would now be 
You make, you make me do this math, man. <laughs> okay, I'm, 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 here's the math. Here's the math. A full pack, a full pack, because I guess, like, I imagine that the thing has maybe, like, a circular percentage thing, right? And so when you put it in, you see there's only 80% left. And so then when you put it, shoot, when you fire it one time, you look at the charge on it. And the percentage of that would, would read as follows. A full 100% is 240 shots. So do the math after that. Okay. Nice. So okay. there's 191 left. It yeah. barely moves. Got it. Oh, cool. I exactly. have 191 lasers. Guys, yep. this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Of 3D4 damage each. We can get yep. to go kill it. No, say that. And how, how fast can I shoot it? Is it still like one attack per round, or can I like it's one, no, one attack it? per round? No, one attack per okay. round. It's one attack per round. I think the the major benefit of the laser pistol is that uh, it's it's like a ray in the same way that you can when you can see you can shoot it. So if you're in the third rank or whatever, you can still shoot somebody. Does that make sense? Rather without oh, so advantage. There's, like there's like a scope. No, no. It's just that like you know when you're shooting a crossbow or something like that, like in melee, like when, from the third rank or so, you have disadvantage. I'm not giving you disadvantage. Oh, I understand. That's, that's the value of it. Is that you? Can, as long as you can kind of see them, you can shoot them because it's okay. a laser. Gotcha. And I don't need like a second hand to reload a, a, a crossbow bolt or anything like that. Yeah. So I can still shield max. You can shield. You can definitely shield and laser pistol. Cool. That is the. This is so sick. Let's go kill things. Or let's what go shoot Killick in the head. Yeah, well, what are we gonna go kill? Let's go shoot Killick in the head. Uh. The the yeah the well okay uh yeah I don't know what the implications are uh if you walk around Gosterwick with a laser pistol but I'm I'm interested. <laughs> okay. We we'll probably uh, don't know what it is. Yeah. Until suddenly some servant of that's what um, like the Chris kids come and murder yeah. you for it. Yeah. Um. Cool. Yeah. So where do we want to go? What do we want to do now? All the now that we have a fucking laser pistol in tow. Yeah. All the symbols. Oh. Uh. Oh. Holy shit, Meg. I. I'm so sorry. You are absolutely right. I, I don't know how many times. Uh. You should. You should. If you had a dollar every time I said I'm so sorry, Meg, you're absolutely right. You should. You would be a very rich woman. You know that. <laughs> uh. But here you go. Above the handle is a laser dot sight. Oh, it actually has like. Oh, a so like I, I can like have a little scope. Yeah. Laser sight. It has yeah, a little, so you, yeah, it has a little... Uh, you what, you're about to blow up. There's a little red dot on no. whatever you're about to it's, it's, Yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's better for threatening people, right? Yeah, it's pre-made. It's not um, it's not like a Picatinny rail. You're, you're not going to change anything <laughs> on it, okay? It's, it is what it is. Can we get an idea of, like, what the range is on it? Far. Far. Said far. Far? Look, I'm not going to worry about... Right right look... <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, as long as you can see them, you can shoot them. So it won't, it's not really effective in fog or anything like that either. Right. You have to see them. Anything that might diffract. diffract a, otherwise it's, a uh, light. otherwise it's going to be like the standard attacking invisibly, like yeah. just in terms of purposes of the laser. No, I'm, I'm saying is that I'm not going to make a big deal about like, you know, you can't shoot through sand or like, uh, you know, refractory <laughs> okay. stuff. Okay. Uh, it's, the only, it's like the only ruling, rules. yeah. Well, the only ruling is it doesn't work underwater. I think that's pretty clear. Okay. Uh, that's that's the only thing. To the troll proving grounds, we've never been. It's right next to the troll court. It's like right next to a safe he's gonna area. Who's going to tell him? And, oh yeah, what? Okay. I guess no one's going to tell. Someone tell me also. <laughs> And me. Well, can somebody... Wasn't there... Eric, have we been there before? Has someone been there? I think someone got ca captured by the trolls and taken there. Well, I, oh, are we on bad terms like, with the trolls snowed. all of a sudden? Was that when, like, the feral trolls, like, attacked somebody? I don't know. They, like, came oh. out of the water or something? That was the Nether Reaches where we had that time. Yeah, that was another Reaches side, the, the head caddy fortress area. Mm -hmm. Yo, this is the first, the first technology thing you all found in this game. <clears throat> it's the worst one. No, it's the first. first. Oh, I see. Oh, that's not true. You have you've seen one before, but I mean it's like the first. Like let's let's there's there's a milestone. There's a difference between the things that you found in the past and pistol. Figuring out that the L-shaped one is a gun. Yeah. Well, we have. What is it? 
I'm sorry, so Eric, were you trying to say that there's some really bad reason to go to show court that somebody should no. inform you? Okay. No. I think I think we've been to the the thing that you were saying to go to before and someone died. Uh, yeah. sense of game. I I vote for Nether Reaches. I've been angling to go hunt down fucking muck for months. Um but yeah. if no one wants to I... do that then Okay. Crow feeder's yeah. never been down there, but now that he's strapped, he's like, okay, I'll go over. Does anyone need luck before I log off? Uh, I could do with some. Oh, you're gonna head out? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I have homework I gotta do. Respect. Uh, you got luck. Anyone that needs it. Sweet. So you yeah. part ways in the in the <laughs> goblin courts. There. For sure. Take care. Thank you for playing, Adam. So are we going down to the Bastet Nether Regents? Uh, like, or are we going down to Hekedi Fortress? Hekedi Fortress was on the Goblin, uh, the, the Varamani level, right? Uh, the Nether Reaches is where Sister Julia got captured. We could go back to where she got captured and try and like see if there's anything left or explore in the area or... Okay. Sure. I, my our last lead on Muck was he was around there somewhere. Well, if you're really adventurous, we can go back through the teleporter. <laughs> mm. If there's anything that they didn't take, yeah, yeah. But then I'm not that then adventurous. We to, then we have problem is with only one hour. There's a unknown of actually escaping. Yeah, the adventure is how do you get uh, back? Um, we haven't yeah. successfully got back without TPK and capture. Yeah. Well, we have a map to that place now, so we can try and like forge as far as we can to it. We can try and find in an hour. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I guess that's the plan. Troll markets to um, Nether Reaches. Guys, Crowfeeder has never not rolled max HP. This is crazy. You go first in everything. Yeah. He has 32 hit points at level 4. I have 22 at level 7. <laughs> I'm like, That's I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. So. Uh, we pay 3 bucks to get the left. And from Goblin Town. Sure. Sure, okay. Okay, nice. Watch us all get killed and lose the laser pistol. <laughs> okay. I uh, I've never been in this situation before. Do I do I get that HP now? Like, am I at twenty four yeah. out of thirty two? Am I at yeah. thirty two out of thirty two? No, you're you're at thirty two out of thirty two. You you immediately gain it. The only thing that you need to know is that you can't level up twice in the same session. You will get capped by one XP short. Of the, of the following Understood. level. Understood. Okay, cool. Down we go. Uh, there's no one else on the lifts uh, at, during your time. So you're free to go down. You will uh, get off of the troll station. Someone presents their passport. I mean, at this point, you don't really need to, but you still, you do because it's the right yes. thing to do, not uh, because you have to do it. And Julia will have the passport. Cool. That's fine. Yep. And away you go. Mm. I was thinking about. I need. I, I. I need to give you the map as as you understand the of the troll courts. We might already have it. I don't know. Okay. Anywho. All right, we're, I mean, we're in the safe area. Where, where, what are we doing? Where are we going? Um, let's go. Let's look at this map that they've given us. It looks like we want to go through this hallway here, straight out the far end of it, then turn north, and then find the caverns. If if that's the plan, is to track our way back through the caverns to 
where that teleport dumps out. So you have I've dispel never magic. been I've do. never been to this level, so I'm a little bit confused. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Fair. Would somebody like to clue Meg in on where we are and what's going on? Are you confused? Which is very way? valid. Which is very, very valid. Because we did just kind of hand wave like 1,600 feet of depth. So, like, please go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken the troll lift uh, down, way, way down the chasm, not quite to the floor. And we have uh, ended up here. Um, to the east, there is a room which is full of these teleporting discs uh, a row along the, the top and bottom. These are pillars down the middle of the hall. And then the only one that we have been through is bottom left, which took us to a music room, although it was labeled as to a forge. So perhaps the one that says music room goes to a forge instead. Um, then there's some more stairs that go down. Uh, and there's a big statue um, which has uh, daylight shining off its staff, uh, holding back some magical darkness, which is uh, got some undead in it, or something that set off Sister Julia's undead detecting spear. Which is uh, now lost. Yeah. So. Uh, okay. so are you familiar with the lifts, though, Meg? I, I, I don't remember. I've even been on a lift. Okay, so yeah, the troll lifts are like these massive lifts that are like, I don't know, I guess operated by trolls at different points, but there's like a floating island junction. Like if you if you look at me on Miro, there's like the yeah. upper um, the upper lifts by the um, by the sundered span, and then it goes down to a floating island that then has like Willy Wonka, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory like elevators that are going sideways to other lift stations that then go down. Just imagine um, the, okay. the, the, the the more the more bestial Veramani who are doing all the manual work are just seeing world of imagination as I just like came down the, <laughs> the lift. They're just cranking. Yeah. <laughs> what do you get when you <laughs> when you descend a thousand feet? <laughs> And the, the the upper station is still like as low as the obsidian gates, which is like Gog's level, right? Yeah, yeah. So the yeah. upper reaches are still pretty low. Yeah, the the top is the the obsidian gate level. Then there's the the interchange, which is on a floating island, and then you go down from there, or laterally, or wherever you want to go. But but these are so, but you're like you there is no walking from the floating island junction to the eastern lift. It's another lift. Yeah, it's another lift. It's an Understand? Interchange. Can't walk along the track. Okay. Oh, okay. And then where the yeah, Nether Reach is, which is also where the the Temple of Vastet is, and I know where that is. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Sick. Sweet. So I guess we're heading. Uh, West, uh, east through this this suspected sorting teleporters zone, and well, then down. We want to know if we can get rid of the magical darkness. Yeah. So if you can, if you can see if you totally. can dispel it. Otherwise, I think walking into darkness full of undead is probably a bad plan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, let me just. Uh, no. Yeah. On you go. On you go, Eric. Yeah, I would like to describe this. I've never been here before either. For sure. That's what I was that's what I was getting up for us. I was like, I think it's probably we're probably due for a redescription of this area. So this is a, a substantial old Arcantine hall. Um in fact, even the lift uh rulers of the, the trolls will tell you about this place and that there are teleporters here. Um there in fact this place is well lit. Um so when you go down the stairs off of the lifts. Everyone says this is the way into the nether reaches. Um, the hall is 30 feet tall. Uh, and yeah, it's magically lit. Uh, there are these quartz circularly teleporter areas. Um, evenly spaced and symmetric uh, across the horizontal plane. Uh, they do have some writing on them as listed before here. Uh, however, outside of this passageway there is a set of stairs that are descending it's about 15 feet wide uh descending down uh to um what can only be described as permanent darkness that's right behind a large massive statue of um an old archontean god named anubis it's a statue uh, the statue is 10 feet tall uh so it's literally you can see it based off the um the descent and its plinth that it's standing on here uh he's jackal-headed 
He's holding a traveler's staff in his left hand and an upright, upraised torch in his right. Uh, brilliant yellow light streams from the torch. Uh, the eyes of the statue are enormous rubies. Um, some of the biggest rubies and most finest looking rubies that anyone has ever seen. Um, does that torch, what, describe that torch to me. Um, Sister Julia can help give you a description of it. That torch literally radiates not just sunlight, but magic and lawfulness. Does it look like the torch that someone picked up and turned out to be a tor cursed torch? It up does. On, it on does have a, It does have a similarity to it. Okay. All right. And I'm gonna large... go ahead. Can I detect magic on the the, the general statue and aspects yeah, we, of it? Yeah, you can detect magic. Open up command prompt. Open up the console. Yeah. Debug what this is for sure. I mean, I'm getting probably getting huge magic vibes from the whole thing. Oh yeah, and like, you're you're in a freaking magic teleporter room, and you're looking at a magic yeah. statue. Definitely gonna get, but like detect magic, you're yeah. not you're not like gonna get overwhelmed or anything yeah. like that. But um, but detect magic is definitely much better than your standard wizard touch sense, you know. Yeah. Um, and just I, I said this earlier for uh Sean, who who's been playing a wizard lately, but just in general, when you say like, hey, do I feel like magic is in this room? To be completely express expressly or that completely explicit. That involves touching it. You have to touch it and you have to be like, mm, yeah, for sure. You know, that unless unless it's like an obvious aura, like the aura of dread in the 40 pillars or like the statue. Right. Or, or the you know, there's there's clear yeah. stuff that's um, like that. So anyways. Cool. Yeah. So I detect magic on the statue or I mean, or any parts of it particularly pinging is. Right. Uh, yeah, so the statue itself does not seem to have it. Ha it's under protections and wardings from thieves. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. um, that being said, uh, the torch uh, is definitely, and so is the staff. Uh, both seem to be not necessarily attached to the statue, but like part, like you know, in in the statue, but not made of the same material or remove. In other words, removable. Um, the uh, yeah, the torch is in fact. Uh, Providing actual sunlight. Um, it as well as, as well as has uh, anti undead and anti uh, demon and devil and evil extra planar cre uh, creature properties. It's preventing anything of that ilk from entering its twenty foot radius or its near sized torchlight. Okay. Um, literally, yeah. they are unable to cross. Uh, and those and you would know that those under it, this uh, torch are immune to attack by such creatures. I mean, does anyone want to risk grabbing that? Um, Finlock might, uh, uh, you know, I mean, like talk against doing that. It's providing protection to the best at people here. If we did that, they, we'd probably come back yeah. to find out that they're like, yeah. Um, I mean, it's been action wars with the nether reaches. It's been sitting here, like right next to the bottom of the troll lift for a thousand years. I think if it was snatchable, someone would have snatched it. Mm -hmm. I think it is snatchable, but I think it's I a mean, great consequence. I'm well, sorely tempted to try for the fucking staff, because this is the first potentially magic staff that we found in the game. Oh, well, no, apart from staff of striking, which wasn't particularly Harambe. useful. Harambe. Harambe has the has the staff. Mm. Or not Harambe, forgive me. Uh, Skibbity. Not Skibbity. <laughs> Zibbity. <laughs> so sorry. Uh, sorry, Jason. Jesus Christ. Right. Yeah, everyone, everyone, get the fuck, get, everyone get the fuck away from all that. To be fair, Skibbity uh, is a good halfling name, wait, too. Wait, wait. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything, before you do anything, this torch, you figured out that it keeps yeah. things from entering. What's mm. in the darkness behind? All the things that can enter. So we don't mess with the torch because as soon as we do, guess what? Yeah. Hang on. All the things that yeah, I ain't, hang on. I ain't touching that the, torch. The staff, you, your, your detect magic should give you some, um, some implications on the staff. This is a yeah. simple looking traveler staff. However, it is made of ebony. Um, it is clearly magical. Um, just like again, like this thing would be radiating magic even without detect magic, you know. 
Uh, however, it's by looking into tech magic, it is strongly aligned with Anubis and the plane of law. Okay, so if I'm lawful neutral, that's I'm you're probably... exactly the that is the exact type of person. It's very it's strongly drift compatible oh, with you. <laughs> Dude, to borrow from Pacific Rim, probably, probably going to be fine. Like, everyone, I'm not everyone, stealing this. I'm honoring everyone. Get this. the fuck out of my way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You don't want to. You might not want to be here when Ollie grabs you a, it. You you have a giant thing. You have a giant orb, and you're okay. Uh, um, I have an orb to ponder, and now I need a staff. That's true. Uh, you are full level wizard. five wizard. That's you not have luck, absolute right? wizard maxing right now for sure. I'm you gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna be the Vancian Vancian wizard that does not know his limits. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna clamber up the fucking statue and steal this this staff. Okay. Um, uh, how many points of thunder damage do I take, Eric? I know, right? Uh, okay, so the staff is the the staff is theoretically removable, but requires a strength check uh, and dex check made by a single person. Okay. Uh, um, my strength is great. My dex isn't. Okay. Um, they in this game they do like you know roll xd6 under strength as like your thing uh yeah. so i think so just thinking out loud here 5d6 under strength is probably hard <laughs> so yeah, i'm gonna say that's a dc 18 just i'm converting on the fly here uh and yeah. okay so you're you're needing an 18 uh strength 18 check and a and 46 under dex so that's gonna be 15 so dex check would, 15. would would flying up there help like if so, if I don't not having to hang on to the thing, I'm just fucking flying. Like you know, no. like I've got both hands free. I'm not trying to. Okay, right. No, you, you both hands being free is required to do it. Okay. No, the th right, the so problem is that it's in the fight. grip. Yeah, it's not. It's, you're not. You're you're already getting whatever leverage you can get. Right. I don't think there's a way to give you advantage on that way. Yeah. I'm just scrolling my fucking spell book. Uh, for sure. Um, if I grabbed a hold of it and then dimension doored, or like misty stepped. No. 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 Okay. Right. Okay. No. Someone would have done but it already. Then, uh, D twenty plus three, uh, greater than or equal to uh, eighteen. Um. Ooh. Yo. Never Strength. doubt. Okay. All you got to do is the dex part. Yeah. What's that? That's not going to be as good. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen dex plus one. Um. One equal to. Fifteen. Given you luck earlier. Uh, yeah. Do I need to? Yeah. Let's. Mm. I guess. I guess I need to fail it before I find out whether what the consequences of failing are. So luck. Yeah. Oh, it is yours. How many points of you like, heave? You should I take Eric? Zero. Sweet, nice, cool. I have a staff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't even need to know what it does. I have a staff well, now. It's great. You have you have the tech. You you did detect magic on it. Yeah. And so now that you have it, I'm willing to give you more of the stuff. Okay. Yeah. So, um, first off, it is a staff plus three. Nice. Um, you can cast. It lets you cast light. Uh, it lasts. Uh, detected visibility, or seen visibility. Sorry, and uh, protection from evil. Cool. And I'm not Three. cursed. Correct. Amazing. This is the, this is the best day ever. Cool. Uh, I'll 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 stop uh, making the Ollie show now. Uh, sorry, I get to do that again. Uh, but yeah, we can we can proceed. Um, 
Do you want me to try and dispel this darkness? Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. I mean, unless it reveals something even worse behind it. <laughs> That's fine. I, I make no promises. <laughs> well, would the would the like see invisibility help you see through the darkness? Yeah. I guess that'd be more like um, a true sight thing. Oh shit! I did not ask him to relock me. Yeah. Oh, oops! Uh, no, I could have done that. Yeah, I could have asked. Never mind. Did you add your plus three? Uh, is it plus to spellcasting, Eric? No. Or is it just attacks? Or yeah, attacks. No. Oh, I misunderstood. That would be really cool. Mm. Yeah, should staffs add a, as a benefit to your spellcasting? That makes sense. Honestly, it kind of does. A wizard needs a staff. I mean, yeah, I'm, wizard, I'm not I, honest, I think a wizard needs a staff. I think, I think a wizard needs Sweet. a damn staff. Then yeah. I succeed. <laughs> yep. I'm... Yep. Oh my god, that's insane. What can I say? I mean, you rolled a two. That means like you're literally on the verge of never failing except for rolling a one. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't know what happens when you I, I have faith in you. You can still roll those ones. <laughs> <laughs> Can't stop okay. me. Can't stop me. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. Sick. Uh, the... Yeah, so it's cast spell magic. Does it work? Did do anything? That's what I'm looking at right now. Uh yes, it is dispelled. What is hiding in the darkness waiting for us okay uh beyond nice beyond beyond the darkness you can see that there is a 30 from from where you're looking it is a 30 foot long chamber but it's taller than it is long it's 30 feet wide and it extends um so i'll kind of help you goes this way at least 30 uh nope i already fucked up Goes to 20 feet. And one, two, three, one, two, three. If y'all uh, want, we do have the mapping of this area the trolls gave us. We could. We can try That's... and compare it. Yeah, you could use that. Yeah. I mean, we can maybe just fucking port this shit in. Well, uh, the first thing you're going to notice, though, that there are extra passages. There's this. Diagonal mm -hmm. passageway. There's a set of stairs this way. Passageway here. Two. Hang on a second. One, two, three. Oh, that's because this is too big. I see what's going on. The if, the yeah. size of this room is correct. In the map above, the size of the room is correct. Let me just add let me the extra stuff that's here. There's a there's a passageway here, and there's a passageway here. As follows. Okay. This isn't on the map. You want to dive in and see what this is, or do you want to keep going and look for the uh, um, treasure I heard about? Furthermore, as the spell, as Ollie finishes casting the spell of uh, of dispelling the darkness, you all hear a chorus of shrills and shrieks from the other world uh, as they recoil from the light, the darkness that is leaving um, was home to several spectral creatures oh, wow. uh sister julia you could you based on the house of those things like that these are some sort of shadows or specters um and they are formidable like you never heard them so strong they've they've been eating mm. good mm. oh uh one more thing i want to add as well there's a this actually continues down here i, mean, I imagine someone can see down that way that there's another passageway uh, as far as I know, no one has stepped into the room, so that's all I've, I've given you. Uh, 
dimension that's given you dimension wise now there are some additional things that are revealed as far as like frescoes and things of that nature mm. right uh so the hall hall is 30 feet tall and its walls are covered with still vivid ancient archontean frescoes uh depicting labor or shaping stone a field of bright flowers growing amid the stones sarcophagi both open and closed uh and then lastly a uh Ah, and uh, then a large image of a Veramani and a large image of a standard Hecate Hopper with the inscription in Mithric under it, Our Enemies. So uh, let me reread re this for you again, because there are four frescoes. The frescoes depict the following. Laborer shaping stone on the western wall, a field of bright flowers growing amid stones on the northern wall, there are sarcophagi, both open and closed, on the eastern wall. And then on the southern wall, there is a image of a Veramani and an image of a Hecate with the inscription in Mithric, Our Enemies, written under it. Okay. Uh, while you got up, Lewis, I also flagged to Lauren that um, when you dispelled the magic, there were everyone heard this. Probably the, even the lifts heard it. Um, there are these shrills of a, a choir of other worldly, shadowy, spectral monsters that uh, recoiled out of the out of the light. Nice. So uh, we know <laughs> more than know something, more something than six more. more than six fewer than twenty. Lost nice tight range there. Yeah, very tight. <laughs> <laughs> very tactically <laughs> planable. I mean, could we try and draw Fewer them? Than. Oh, I guess because yeah. probably they're they're still in the darkness, right? They don't want to come into the light. No, this light repels them. So maybe we can just sort of stick Sister Julia at the edge and have her blast. <laughs> uh, Julia just blinks in. To be clear, I will also, I will just denote this for any sort of tactical, oh, I'm drawing on the red map, but um, up here, I'm kind of marking, you know, this square area is sort of like you get the torch of the Anubis. Does that make sense? As far as yep. practical purposes? Shit. Um, So the chamber itself, not the, any, not any 10 feet off the spurs. Look, it's a, it's, it's a, it's, we're, we're playing an elf game. Okay. Like technically the light does diffuse down there, but let's, you know, we're not going to worry about the inverse square law of luminosity and its effects on, okay. Let's not, let's, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that today. Oh yeah. So sorry. It's, it was easier for me to kind of draw this or get, let you help you translate it simply because you look at all the various spurs off this room. Like, I see. yeah. Okay. Don't worry. When Rui goes back, we'll get him to tidy it all up. Yeah. <laughs> Rui's got some, <laughs> got a job to do. Just some homework to do. Have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, uh, but that I devil mean, went down to Georgia instead. He can probably do that from his um, youth hostel in fucking Turkey or wherever he is. Yeah, you know? Georgia. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Let's fuck up some shadows. I think the first order business is to check this single room northwest. Agree. Yeah. Um, and food mender will go. Uh, if not first, second, with the 10-foot pole, poking around for traps, mm -hmm. secret doors, etc. All right. That's an audible thumbs up. Gotcha. We, okay. Uh, we are going up to the north room, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. When we're plodding along, looking for traps and things of the like. Okay. Uh, this room is crammed with debris and broken furniture. Um, 
However, uh, there is also uh, non-illuminated darkness that does not seem to get dispelled by your own uh, torches. Uh, and they writhe and try to hide and hiss. So I think we need to go to initiative. Okay. Okay. Um, well, uh, I, I should say, I, 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 if your intentions are to come into this room, I guess I should say we should roll initiative. Are there undead? I think we should just get rid of them. These are undead shadow creatures in here? Correct. So, so Julie does not suffer for undead. Yeah, someone please beat a 20. Or you just go roll, lose yeah. your luck, roll low. <laughs> oh, okay. Dispel the darkness. Uh, I don't have luck. I thought that's what I I, I mistranslated Latin and thought so Julie was giving you luck. Oh, did you? I, right, okay. yeah, I did. Okay, right, yeah. cool. Uh, right. Yeah. Everyone's everyone's blocking all day. Cool. Right. Yeah. So um so, every, magic every circle versus undead. No, no. Yeah, you have to go first and do something. Yeah. Magic circle versus undead. Yes. I mean the turn. Now what what have am I plus, plus 11 now? Get up, get up um, there, yeah. Great, mm -hmm. great. Get up there and get up there. So, like, just don't roll a 1. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, uh, Magic Circle versus Undead. Cool. Um, that's my turn. Cool. Hey. Uh, they flee. They You lose sight of them. Cool. They all in the. There's um, a in the room. Unknown. We're we're gonna say an initiative though. Okay. Like, do they like flee into the corners, or do they like run in a direct, flee in the direction? Right. No, or? they 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 it's they they flee. Um, one flees to the like one bit of darkness goes to basically the southern wall and just kind of looks like it disappears. Uh, and then two of them also go kind of go to the northern wall and disappear. Is, is that okay. in this Maybe room like that we're in? Or like in it happens in it. Um, what I'm trying to convey here by being vague is, is actually uh, not me being lazy, but like an actual thing about them, that they are actually very difficult to detect when they want to yeah. be hidden. Yeah. But they, like, yeah, like they a... flitter onto a surface and then just like yeah. vanish like water draining into sand kind of thing. Exactly. Um, the for for intents and purposes, uh, unless you do something to change the tactical situation, uh, they're functionally invisible. So, if they're functionally invisible, can we now see this room that was darkness? Well, yeah, your torchlight is lighting it up. That's what what you were seeing them was the reflections off your torchlight, right? Yeah, it was just little were... patches. They weren't hiding yeah. the whole room. They were just there were sections yeah. of the room didn't illuminate for when sure. they should okay. have. Okay. Yep. Hold okay. On. Yep, you're looking oh, at a yeah. You're looking at a 20 by 30 chamber. Again, it was completely overloaded with broken administrative furniture. It is difficult to move around this area. Oh, oh quick point of order. Eric, mm -hmm. um staffs are two-handed, right? Yeah. So I need to drop my shield to like I'm I'm never gonna attack with it, but like to use it as like a casting implement. I'd, yeah, cool. Correct. I'd just delete shield. Okay. I'm wondering Ooh. if this is over Delete Shield's a great level two spell. Like your shield just like gets thrown off or whatever. Okay, anyways. Yeah, you, just hit, you just hit them, you know, yeah. and then they smash it. It's, it's, yeah, it shatters uh, the shield. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm okay. sorry, Lauren, go ahead. Should I make an oath? I shall walk into this room and vanquish these undead shadows. Is that suitable? What was your, my fifth? What was your last one? My last one wasn't that exciting. Uh, purge the Sedite base. Oh, yeah. So is that suitable? Mm -hmm. It's one of those things like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not in the right position to judge this because I don't know how badass these things are. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, these are can tell us. I mean, the other one yeah. sounds more impressive. Uh, I will give me. this. I'll give this to you because you. They hissed and they ran and again as a as a battle sister. You know, Wraith Slayer. It's mm -hmm. very it's very apropos, and I think you should give a sort of a level of these things. 
For starters, I think you can tell these things are slightly more powerful than raids, despite being shadows. Okay. Uh, and the second mm -hmm. thing I think you would, yeah, they would point out is that they have a malign intelligence to them, indicating that normally shadows like don't. So in other words, there's something going on here that's more than meets the eye. So I think I'm trying to kill him is probably pretty fair. What do you think, friends? Do we do this? I mean, if if the GM if the GM signs so, yeah. off on the difficulty level, I'm happy with it for epic yeah, level. Me too. Me too. Sure. Finlock is like this torch, and I swear this torch will not go out. <laughs> Yeah, and, and I'm like, I don't know, I was thinking when Eric described them hiding, either they're like crouched, or I guess not crouched, but either they're hidden underneath all this like rubbish, or I guess my yeah. first thought was like secret door or like illusionary wall. Yep, uh, you no, have no way of knowing. Yep. Okay. There, I've worded it, I've put it in there. What do you think? Double check it. Yep, sounds good. Thumbs up. Okay. I cast thumbs up. Yep. Three to a six. Well, that's fine. Back our spells. I'm going to take spells. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it would... I should have ought to steal that fucking thing. All right, so Lauren, what, you want to do something in your turn? Yes. Now that we sorted all of that out, I, with my glowing mace, walk into the room, and I'm going to investigate this south wall to see if I can find this thing and cast spells on it. Uh, okay. Oh, and I have my free, uh, I touch the protection from uh, evil necklace. And I invoke it for five rounds. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, how do I want to say? Okay. Um, moving. Now, you can move into this room for free. Moving out of this room will require traversal checks and stuff of the like because it is completely again crammed with debris and broken mm -hmm. furniture. Um, some I would also flag that some of the broken furniture and stuff like that still have like you know closed. Uh, cabinets uh, and drawers yeah. and the like. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, yep. You okay? Uh, get. Let's see. How we're we gonna search. Um, I take I take the mace. It's glowing yeah. with light because I cast light on it and I yeah. start dragging it across the wall. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna run into something. No. Nothing. No. No sign of any shadows. That shouldn't be. That are. You know, only lingering shadows there. Nothing flighty. And I proceed northbound. Okay. I think we need a thief. Yeah. So, Foodmunder's going to get up in there. Uh, with his ten-foot pole, can he stand inside Ollie's circle and still sort of poke around this southwestern, west, like, south area? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, this whole room's got like to investigate mirror, right? For secret doors. Mm -hmm. Wow, but the, the key point is he's staying within the circle. Um. Okay. Makes sense for me. Um. The only thing is that normally this takes, like, investigating and takes some time and we're in combat rounds but i guess yeah. it's kind of the same technically it's the same time for in in shadow dark so i guess i give that to you uh searching around yes you will find that on the southwestern wall on the on the western side of the southwestern wall uh corner there is a secret door um with no handle on it or anything like that gotcha is uh, does the circle extend long enough that he could sort of get close enough to look for a, a catch? Um, I th no, I think I think searching for it is your action. I think that kind of stuff would require further. Understood. Yeah. 
Normally, um, I would say like, yeah, have at it. But because you're under the pressure of being like not trying to be ambushed or, or like be attacked when well, that you're a goblin. But like, you know, the fact that we're under a combat situation, I'm not I'm, I'm a little bit less lenient. Makes sense. So Crow Feeder is going to go in and do that instead. OK. That makes sense. Looking yeah. for the catch. Yep. Distributing around. That would work just fine. Uh, looking around. Yeah. You find that there is a panel um, of stone to the right of the door that opens it. Guys, should I press it? Yes. Yep. Can Crowfeeder press it, or do I need the third goblin to press it? <laughs> no, this is your action, but yes, you can do it. Okay. Crowfeeder will press it, and then sort of take we, a half yeah. step back with a laser pistol drawn. To be clear, uh, the act of searching is your action. Pressing the button is free. Yeah. Understood. Okay. Okay. Well, but no, he, 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 cowboy, he cowboy draws the, the <laughs> pistol. <laughs> All right, uh, a corpse of a human adventurer is slumped on the floor of this 10 foot by 10 foot uh, chamber. Uh, next to it uh, is a, clearly a, oh, that's interesting. It's a corpse of some sort of sulfurous creature, um, clearly otherworldly. A demon. Yeah, but what's also strange is that it's normally when demons die, they go to the, they go back to where they come from. Oh. This one is dead. Some sort of magic. Um, it's also in one. Of, it's totally clear. It is. This is a new type of demon that's in Ardenvol, so I have to figure out what the hell it is. Um, normally it's like a type one or whatever, and I can just kind of fictionally describe it, but I don't know what this one is. What it looks like. Uh, they are small. They're about two feet in diameter. Uh, they have a single eye, uh, a huge mouth, like a huge mouth and two legs and arms. Okay. So they're like, like a, just a side character from all real monsters. <laughs> yeah. We've dead. seen these before. Yeah. It's dead for sure. Okay. Um, the corpse of the adventurer is still wearing their uh, gear. Sick. Do we see the shadow? Uh, no, you do not. Um. I think Gunk Boiler is frankly just like kind of well, actually, Gunk Boiler is going to go look where the other one disappeared and look for another secret door. Um, there is a something scrawled in this room as well in, uh, in on the wall. Uh, in, gotcha. In uh, Modern Arcantian. Would I have to go in there to read it? Uh, door opens, looking at that kind of stuff. No, nah, no, nah, you should be able to see this. Okay. Uh, so I'll read it aloud and then copy and paste it as well. Uh, sorry, I'm doing this on the fly, so I'm trying to do this, looking at it. Um, the shadows seem to be controlled by some evil intelligence. Could not locate it. We pushed south, but encountered the strange rollers. Then more shadows everywhere. Callian ran to the east, but Jaden and the bearers led north towards the light. I was overcome, but managed to crawl to this closet. Perhaps I can make it to the light. Okay. Um. I don't think this changes what Gunk Boiler is going to do. Sure. Which is the, the searching for the secret door where the other one fled. He's not a thief, he's a bard, but... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay. Oh, looks empty. There's no other secret door in that room. There's only... Yeah. In the, in the main room? Oh, no. Um, there is another secret door. Uh, this one is basically the exact opposite as the one to the south. This one is on the north-facing 
oh, sorry, on the eastern facing side of the northeast corner. Understood. Okay. Um, and he'll take a step back so that someone else can look for a trigger. That's me. Sorry it took so long. Yeah. Paul, what does Venlock do? Um, yeah, thanks. Um, I, I guess I really don't have much to add here. He'll continue carrying on the torch bravely in the nether reaches. I'll try and look for a, 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 a way to open the second secret door. Uh, yeah, sure, actually. I can help out with that. Um, looking for another panel to the right of it. Similar to the first one. Okay. Um, this one has a... Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, no, uh, this... Sorry. Uh, this door actually appears to be have a, um, a handle as well as a keyhole. It does not... So there's a obvious way to open it. Maybe the keyhole's like, I don't know, <laughs> or I don't know, like, it can be anywhere, I guess. I mean, so it's really just more like a locked door? Like, if there's a handle and a keyhole, then it's not really a secret, right? Like... Um, nope. Uh, it's, it's definitely, it's a secret door. Uh, I guess, okay, maybe it doesn't have a handle. Maybe it just has a keyhole. Okay. Um, it's expressly secret door. This door is normal to find and opens uh, by a key. So. Yeah, not a thief. For sure. Maybe maybe next round, food vendor can get it. Bjorn? Bjorn marches forward. Ready your magic, priest. Come, Shadow. I'm full of life. Bro, don't go in the room. I'm about to fireball it. <laughs> it needs baiting out. Uh, Are you going to fireball it? No, so, actually, that would consume, consume the entire space that we're in, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm being I, th I think it needs baiting out of its hiding place. Yeah. And to be clear, to fire boy, fireballing Bjorn... Fireballing the closet that Bjorn's in would absolutely hit everybody. Yeah, yeah, I'm being an idiot. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in, and can I just use my, um, like, not make any attack roll and just try, try and set myself defensively? Sure. That's my action. That's me. Ollie. Um, talk to me about how staffs work. Can I? You said this staff one has cast. Uh, can to cast detect invisible. Mm -hmm. It's just so um, you prepared it. it, so you can also yeah. if you have the same spells as that, you can cast from the staff. Should you fail and not remember a spell anymore? And if I fail, I lose all abilities of the old spells from the staff, or just that one? No, just, or... just that one. Just that one. It's as though and if I it's one. Um, is it broken forever? Can never cast that ability again, or no? That can't be right. But I, I don't know exactly what should happen. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll roll it, and we'll figure out what happens when I yeah um, when I roll a one and roll re-roll that on on luck, um, and get a one again. Uh, and, um, plus, plus thirteen. No. Plus eleven. Uh, how many, how many equal to eleven. I mean, I literally can, yeah. Uh, cast the text invisible. Can I cast okay. that on other people? Uh, sorry, I don't have the spell, uh, so yeah. I've never used it before. Can I cast that on other people, or can I only cast that on self? 
Oh, uh, I have the book open. Scene no. visibility. I think you can probably cast it on. It's probably self. I think it's not a real Shadow Dark spell. No. it's something you want GM chat. No, GM it's in detect, detect Invisibility, Range Self. Okay, cool. Right, I can only cast on myself then. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so I can see Invisible. Well, that's my okay. Time. Uh, you'll see as three of the shadows will zip up through the northern uh, door, um, that secret door, and flee. Zip up as in going through, like coming out yeah, of it, like going back? To everyone else is like looking around for these shadows, but you because you can yeah. see in like basically invisibility, like you detect the flickering of like you know these things quickly moving out of this room. What you oh, know they were like, moving out of this room. Yeah, yeah, they're fleeing out of this room. Um, going to that secret door to the north that has the keyhole. Do they go through the keyhole? Nice. Probably. Thought. I mean, thoughts on us just looting this room before. Uh, Lauren. trying to find them. Yeah, you know, I shouldn't have put this day. Because then I could have said, yeah, we'll come back for you. But I'll oh. go and try and figure out how to get through the secret door, and the rest of you loot everything. Well, here, F Food Mentor can help try and unlock it for you. Oh, okay. Sure. Sorry, wait, wait sorry. Uh, 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 on the last of my turn, can I move and look into the cupboard where where Bjorn is and look for shadow, yeah. the shadows? Yeah. Mm hmm. Sweet, there's nothing in there. there. Yeah. Okay, when you look down there, there's nothing in there. there. Cool. On my turn, all I can do is get frustrated at the door. Hit it. Classic. Hit it, Julia. Hit it. You've got a mace, right? You can just yeah, I've got a mace. I'm not breaking down the secret door. Um, that's too noisy. It's going to attract too much attention. We know how that goes. I know what shows up. Um, with the light on my mace, can I see through the keyhole? Um, very barely, but you can see that there are stairs. Ah. That descend. Mm-hmm. Uh, narrow five feet set of stairs that can descend. Maybe they go into these ones. Okay, is everyone else rummaging? Uh, except for Food Mender, who's going to try and unlock the secret door. Okay, cool. Uh, we can just take the time to do that then. Um, rummaging around the room. Uh, one of you, I'll let whoever wants to volunteer for it, you will find uh, a in one of the chests or one of the unopened containers or run through the floor, 23 ancient gold uh, solid eye. Sorry, um, sorry to interrupt you, Eric. I, the one thing I should have rolled yeah. was focus on uh, my protection circle. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, yep. we're good. Mm -hmm. uh, furthermore, the, the dead body of the adventurer still has stuff on them. Like, uh, there's leather armor. Uh, there's a necklace with an onk on it uh, around their neck, as well as a uh, clearly, like, very finely made crossbow. Okay, I'll grab them. What type of armor is that? Leather. Does, does Ollie think it's pinging magic? If you let him touch it, he can tell you. Let's are, we, are we still in we're initiative? Sure, sure, sure. No, no, we don't have to be in initiative order. No. Okay, right. Okay. And there was 23 solid eye? Correct. Gold solid eye. Gold ancient, solid eye. Ancient gold solid eye. So that's uh, two slots each one. That kind. Awesome. Right. Yeah, let's strip this corpse. Okay. Um... Yeah, the armor is magical, the uh, amulet is magical, and so is the crossbow. This person um, was probably somewhere around your level. Gotcha. Ollie. 
Nice. Uh, or, yeah. Does anyone want to just put on this magical leather armor? Uh, Finlock can't. We've, we've only got like 10 minutes left of the session. Okay. Sure oh my god, you're so right. Yeah, do we, do we, do we want to peace out and get back to the fucking lifts and. Yeah, I then... think that would be the best rather than like if we start fighting okay. things. I'm, I'm sorry, Julia. Um, I was there for you with this. I should have thought. I should have thought I Eric Green. I will pay, I will pay the penance. Um, Bjorn would like to take the body of the demon because he heard that uh, some some halfling wants to start grinding up magical creatures and injecting them into himself. Yeah. Sounds good. I have room for the gold. I have room for... We have enough slots for everything. Yes. Yeah. We do. Yeah, I've got like 10 torches I can drop. A blade of miscast protection. No, if I'm not going to cast another spell today, it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, cool. Then we can do that and exfiltrate. Are we going to... Uh... We're not going to attack magic on the gear or anything before we go. We're just going to go just put that stuff away. Yeah. If it's all equipment, if we yeah. can take it with it. We can go somewhere safe and detect magic if there's anything. Okay, cool. We want to detect one, magic on in here. Two, three. We can't all right, move. cool. All right. Uh, then all I got to do is one single encounter roll. Okay, cool. You can make it back to the lift just fine. Um, let me just roll encounters on the lift just to make sure nothing's crazy. Um, that gets you to the top where the inn is. Then you got to go to the middle island. You're going back to Goblin Town, right? Yeah. Um, it's Ollie Goblin Town where the rug Ollie is. Would... Yes. So that means we can go back to Gothic. Okay. Gotcha. Can we? Can can we stay in the troll courts? Do we have yeah. a couple lodgings? Yeah, there? yeah. You, Ollie you can stay there. The He's working well, his angle on convincing yeah. them to go raid the okay, cat thing. Cool. Well, it's yeah. it's three and... quid uh, for anybody, regardless. But okay. okay. And since you're re since we are retracing steps, you have it's you, I roll encounters for like every uh one out of every three turns, so one out of every two. And uh nothing nothing came up, so I'm willing to say that you all are able to safely get out of here. Uh based on my rolling. So here we go. Uh XP for that um solid die. Uh 33 and gold shares 38. Uh, can we say that Ali did do the detect magic to identify everything, and we split? We can do it in base. Stuff. We can do it in yeah, base. Yeah, yeah. Well, if Ali stays mm -hmm. back, okay. Well, I guess we can. We can. It. We can spend three hundred. Three hundred yeah, is nothing. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I can. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll save, save time rolling dice. I spend three hundred gold when we get back to. I mean, Ali does it on the left up. <laughs> okay. There you go. You can't stop him. He's a machine. <laughs> I've got plus three to my fucking spell cats from this fucking staff. I'm just gonna yeah, cast spells crazy. all day. That's so crazy. Yeah. But it's a if really need, I mean you... it's a really good staff. Yeah. Yeah. If you decide you want to scale that back at any point in that, Eric, I'm not offended. No, I mean there's only one of them in the game, so like <laughs> congrats. <laughs> you have it. You literally have the staff of Anubis. Uh so I can't imagine it's very good that you should be flaunting that you have this staff, but it's also pretty sick that Olymp mm -hmm. Olympia you should have the staff and, and uh yeah, that's the I think I think it's awesome. Um, this is a t the Ankh is a ten inch tall. Wait, appearing as a ten foot tall? No, there's no way. There's there ain't no way. Ankh of appearing as a ten foot tall Ankh formed of sun yellow porcelain. No. Is it inch. is it ten? Yeah, it's ten have they double. Wrong? No, no, it's double. Yeah, it's that's, inches. That's it's inches. Inch. It's yeah, inches. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm I'm dying right now. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, cool. This is a Ankh that lets you turn undead. Mm. Oh, uh, we found one of these before. Yeah. With yeah. the charges. How many, how many charges is it on? Uh, let's see. Nine charges remain in it. Ooh, boy. Pretty good. All right. The leather armor is leather armor plus two. And the other one, and the crossbow is a, uh, it is a light crossbow of speed. Uh, so it is a plus one crossbow. Um, additionally, you can fire it without um, making your move action to reloading it, 
to reload it. Thank. Um, the sh string on it was broken, but you replace it with some sort of like either some giant spider stuff from your alchemical supplies. You're like, you need, you need silk from a giant spider or hair from a mane of a unicorn, which you probably have given you looted the um, set base, you know, with all that Wait, kind of stuff in it. We've also got phase spider yeah. silk. If we added that, would it add no, the it, it whole... No, do it doesn't add. No, it just, it just no. makes the thing whole again. It's, you can't enchant no. it that way. You can with that in it. You could you can with that massive Ouch. amount of Arcanum though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah awesome. Cool. Okay. Very successful session tonight, everybody. Good job. So yeah. very cool. Question. Yes. The way I worded my oath, do I fail it? You do not fail your oath. No. Okay. Okay. So it's still pending, so we have to go back. Yes. Yep. Okay. You will okay. just go back and yep. You're on the hook to defeat them. Alright. Uh I would say you would okay. Uh to be a stickler, I think the wording would be if you do a different quest, I think we're we're gonna run into some problems or like a you know mm -hmm. you're kind of you're kind of devoted to tackling down these shadows. Yeah. But yes. Um, the last thing I think you would say is that normally shadows would have fought you and stuff in that room and things like that, but no, again, there's something controlling them. Mm -hmm. It's making them be more tactical. Okay. So okay. maybe I have to find that to fulfill maybe. the quest. Mayhaps. Okay. Mm. Yes. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody.